Peter Frankopan, The Silk Roads, A New History of the World. Embark on a captivating journey through the Silk Roads, the ancient network of trade routes that shaped the world as we know it. In his book, The Silk Roads, A New History of the World, Peter Frankopan uncovers the rich history of these routes, exploring the empires, cultures, and ideas that thrived as a result of the economic and social exchange these roads facilitated. From the rise of the Roman and Persian empires to how the Silk Roads have shaped our modern geopolitics, this summary offers an illuminating look into the complex interactions that have shaped global history and continue to influence our world today. The Silk Road and the Exchange of Ideas Mesopotamia, located in current-day Iraq and surrounding countries, is known as the birthplace of Western civilization, where the first towns, cities, and empires emerged. The Persian Empire, the greatest of these empires, was built on trade made possible by a network of roads that eventually became part of the famous Silk Roads linking China to the West. As China pushed its borders westward to the Eurasian steppes, it traded with the nomads, with silk becoming the most coveted commodity, symbolizing wealth, luxury, and power. But the routes facilitated not only the exchange of goods but also of ideas, particularly religious ones. This process created a melting pot of ideas concerning the divine, with the Greek pantheon of gods headed east and Buddhist ideas circulating from northern India into China and the rest of Asia. The Silk Road partly explains how Christianity, with its humble origins in Palestine, was able to spread so quickly through the Mediterranean and across Asia. The Rise of the Muslim World By the early centuries of the first millennium CE, the fringes of the Roman and Byzantine Empire were hotly disputed. In contrast, on the Arabian Peninsula, a religious identity was crystallizing. After receiving revelations from God, Muhammad, a trader from the Quraysh tribe near Mecca, began preaching about the all-powerful God of Abraham. Though initially met with resistance, Muhammad's message eventually unified the Arabs under the banner of Islam, partly by spreading through conquest and persuasion. By the 7th century CE, the Arab Empire had conquered and united the former Byzantine and Persian superpowers, gaining control over their Silk Road trade routes. The Arab Empire became a vital hub connecting China and the Western world, flourishing in its trade, arts, and science. Meanwhile, Europe was submerged in a period of intellectual darkness, as the Christian Church stifled scientific inquiry. The Slave Trade's Contribution to Western European Dominance The rise of the Muslim Empire led to an increase in demand for slaves, with many brought in by Vikings from Eastern Europe. This led to a flourishing slave trade, pouring money into Europe which was used to import luxury items. The introduction of Eastern products in Europe signaled the beginning of a new era where Christian knights armed themselves for conquests of Jerusalem. They claimed Jerusalem from the Muslims, which was a springboard to more riches and power. With Jerusalem in Christian hands, the balance of trade shifted once more contributing to improving socio-economic conditions in Europe particularly for Italian city-states such as Genoa, Pisa, and Venice. Rise and Fall of Mongol Empire The Mongols were strategic planners who conquered much of Asia and Europe in the 13th century to establish the world's largest contiguous empire. They introduced new fashion styles and disease, including the Black Death that devastated Europe. Despite the death toll, the pandemic contributed to new European development. In the late 11th century, the Mongols, perceived as a horde, were able to conquer much of Asia and Europe by the end of the 13th century. Contrary to their image, the Mongols were highly strategic planners. They began their rule by subjugating other tribes through their military prowess. The Mongols fought their way through China and made inroads into Eastern Europe, ultimately establishing the world's largest contiguous empire by the end of the century. The Mongols' cultural impact was felt across Europe in the form of fashion and the spread of the Black Death, a plague that devastated the Old World and Europe. It took Venice almost a century to recover from but resulted in new European developments. All in all, the rise and fall of the Mongolian Empire is a crucial period in world history that had far-reaching consequences. 
The Socioeconomic Impact of the Black Death The Black Death of the 14th century had massive consequences for Europe's social and economic structure. While the death toll was catastrophic, the reduced population led to the empowerment of the peasantry and weakened the propertied classes. Wealth distribution became more even, and interest rates dropped, creating an economic stimulus for new technologies and trade. Advancements in military and naval technology allowed for new discoveries and the establishment of trade routes. However, these advances came with a cost, as the rest of the world suffered from the European conquest and slave trade. Europe's Rise and Fall Thanks to European seafarers, Europe became the center of the world by 1500. However, Northern Europe rose to power in the 16th century as England and the Netherlands created successful trading companies. By the 19th century, Russia posed a threat to Britain's Indian possessions, leading to the establishment of an alliance between Russia, Britain, and France. This destabilized the newly established German state, leading to the outbreak of World War I. The Knox-Darcy Concession Persia's oil reserves were exploited by the British through the Knox-Darcy Concession. A 60-year exclusive agreement was signed with William Knox Darcy, granting access to Persia's natural gas and petroleum. As ships were fueled with oil, Darcy's company became BP. The British acquired a 51% stake in 1914 while Persians received less. Anti-British sentiment rose, and America's Standard Oil was granted a concession in northern Persia to challenge British dominance. However, the Persians' plan backfired, and the Shah's subjects felt betrayed. Nazi-Soviet Pact In 1939, Nazi Germany and the Soviet Union signed a non-aggression treaty with a secret agreement to split Poland. By 1941, Hitler invaded the Soviet Union to gain access to the Silk Roads for resources needed for war. Stalin was caught off guard, and the German advance was initially unstoppable until the icy Russian winter set in and supply lines were overtaxed. The scarcity of grain was used as an excuse by the Nazis to further enact their anti-Semitic agenda, leading to the Holocaust. The United States' Costly Involvement in Iran the United States interfered in Iran's nationalization of the oil industry out of fear of losing access to strategic resources. In 1953, the CIA orchestrated a coup that removed the democratically elected Prime Minister Mossadegh and replaced him with a pro-American leader. However, their plan failed as the Shah was overthrown in the Iranian Revolution of 1979, and militant Iranian students took American embassy staff hostage. To make matters worse, the U.S. supported Islamic fundamentalists in Afghanistan during the late 1970s, who eventually turned against them and carried out the 9-11 terrorist attacks. The United States' meddling in Iran led to a loss of influence in the region and a high price to pay for their actions. The Rising Lands of Silk Roads The Silk Roads regions of Eastern Europe, Middle East, and Western and Central Asia remain important due to their vast natural resources. Despite political instability, tourism is booming, and new transport connections are being built, leading to more trade. The region also sees a rise in centers of arts and academic excellence. China's influence in the region is expected to push back the influence of the West as it funds infrastructure projects and creates a network of trade routes that go beyond the Silk Roads. The lands of the Silk Roads are on the rise. In conclusion, the Silk Roads brings to light the intricate tapestry of human history that has been woven along these ancient trade routes. This summary has showcased the rise and fall of empires, the exchange of goods, ideas, and culture, and the important role religion has played in shaping the world. It has also emphasized the continued relevance and importance of the Silk Roads region in today's geopolitics, and its significance in the balance of power between East and West. As a reminder of the interconnected nature of human history and the ongoing impact of the Silk Roads on our present and future, this is a tale well worth exploring.